Hello there, my name is Tenorium. Today we are playing Malice Code. God, it's been a long time since I've done something with webcam, hasn't it? Promise not to do one till I lost... Wait, but it's fine, it's fine. You're just gonna have to wait several months and then it'll be fine and I won't look as terrible. Oh no, don't go into this screen. Keeps doing that after a very small amount of time. So, very Japanese themed this game. However, this gives me a lot of hope. This is a good option screen. You'll struggle to find one as good as that. Right, new game. Let's, go on with Let's get on with this, shall we? Blurry filtered background. That's not promising at all. Subject, happy Easter. I hope you enjoy this day with your family and friends. Thank you, game? Thanks, you two. I reply to the first email I receive in Japan and promptly mark it as spam. Yes, we send Japan! I love Japanese-themed stuff. I could be a meaningful message to my life, but it's not relevant to me today. Oh good, there's a Japanese translation up here, which you're not going to be able to see half of, because my face is like here. I wonder if we can turn the Japanese translation off. Although, main window language, English, sub window language, none, there we go. And now we have English only. I bring my map app to confirm my current location, then switch to bird's eye view to get a better look. The University of Frontier Sciences. Not only normal ones, Frontier Sciences. I pronounce the university's name in Japanese. Nice, the app can recognize my speech correctly. Okay, so it's not a blurry background. That's promising. There's shit falling from the sky, which looks like it could very easily be one of these leaves. Okay, it's looking like a decent art. I see a water-filled paddy field. Nearby, there's a residential area and tall concrete buildings which don't fit into the scenery. Hey, just because it doesn't fit into your aesthetic doesn't mean it's not everyone's type, buddy. This is where I'll be staying, starting this spring. I look up from my phone and take in the landscape before me that the map couldn't capture. The streets are lined with plum trees and cherry blossom flowers are blooming. So there are the famous Japanese Sakura. Oh, is that why so many people are called Sakura in, Jap in Japanese things? It's because it's a thing? I don't know. Leaves? Flowers? A strong spring wind makes a shower of Sakura. Okay, they're flowers or trees. Of Sakura petals drift down all at once. In Japan, Sakura petals are said to symbolize the fleeting nature of life. Thank you for having time to monologue this all to yourself. I take a moment to admire the white fragments as they dance through the air. At the same time, they also represent the beginning of a new season. This doesn't feel real yet, but it'll all probably sink in soon. When in Rome, do as the Romans do, I guess. And at that moment, Kui Nige Da. I don't know what that means. The beauty of Japanese stillness is shattered by a not so beautiful voice. From what I recall, this is a phrase to express anger at someone who didn't pay their tip or something, I think. I'm standing right in front of the central gate of the university, and I don't think the downtown area is nearby. Well, look, it's a very persistent waiter then, isn't it? It's someone who really wants a tip. As I look towards the voice, I, spit, I spot a middle-aged man wearing an apron chasing a, a young girl. Okay, this is weird role, role play. Get the fuck out of here. Do you want to end up in a threesome with some middle-aged man and a schoolgirl who's actually like 37? I wouldn't. As luck would have it, they happen to be running along the same path I'm standing on right now. They both seem to be in a rush considering Japanese traffic laws. I guess they have the right of way. <laughs> That's something when I went to Canada I didn't understand. You can just walk in the middle of the fucking road and you have right of way. Domo. Don't know what that means. I make use of a suitable greeting I learned earlier in my studies as I step to the side of the road. Tag the rest up to you. I sure wasn't her expecting wasn't expecting her to do that. The girl yells as she passes and smacks my arm. Hey, wait! <laughs> She's not moving anywhere. How did I know this game was gonna feature oversized eyes Japanese anime girls with no noses? I quickly grab her by the arm. What do you mean, tag? I don't know. Apparently when she hits people and says tag, she can't move more than one inch at a time. Huh? What's with that reaction? Unbelievable. What sort of reaction were you ex... We should punch her in the face. 
Why are you making... Oh, that's the creepiest camera lens glance up I've seen in a while. Why are you making a face like you're genuinely surprised? I'm the one who can't believe what's going on. Are you guys in cahoots? You must be. <laughs> the man chasing her now throws even more confusion into the mix. No, I'm innocent. I was just a bystander until a second ago. It'd be nice if we knew who was talking. Damn, I just arrived in Japan and I didn't even finish checking in yet. I don't have the time to get dragged into this mess. She suddenly takes my arm, squeezes tight and pulls. Hold on a second, where are you trying to take me? I start running in the same direction as she's dragging me along. She seems to answer my question, but I almost fall over and can't catch what she says. That was a lovely close up of her elbow. Ooh, elbow fetish? We approach the gate of the university. Seems like that's where she's trying to guide me. Looks like we're heading to my original destination anyway. I just go with the flow. Like a new couple, we run around in the campus. Oh, you heard me inside. Long story short, we end up having to pay 500 yen to our pursuer. What do you mean, we? Why we? There shouldn't be a we there. We weren't the ones culp- Ugh, not there. Knock! Come in! I knock on the door to the polar lab. A woman's voice answers from inside. Excuse me? Is this a drawn lab? Or is it a normal lab with a Photoshop filter? It looks very realistic. I can't tell. This music's back though. Could, could be doing without that. Excuse me. The room is about 40 square meters with de- Yeah, that's something- Who says that? The room is about 40 square meters. It's about six and a half by seven and a half feet. Like- With desks and shelves that have all kinds of regions lined up neatly. My name is Will. I'm a new uh, member of the Polar Research Lab starting this April is Nagatsuta is teacher around the teacher I asked the long black haired woman in front of me <laughs> yeah they'd let that fly to school I'm Nagatsuta I'm Davette welcome to the Polar Research Lab Will by the way, why didn't you contact me when you arrived? This university is probably a maze for someone who's never been here before. You didn't get lost? You try and get me lost into other things. Not a chance. No, I didn't get lost, but I did run into some other trouble. She tilts her head with a curious look in response. <laughs> look at this weird 2D weirdness. To put things briefly, I coincidentally met with a member of this lab and she guided me here. I'll go fuck yourself. Really? Really? Oh, I don't know who you are, lol, but I'm gonna... Oh, that we're just letting that slide, are we? Everyone, we're speaking in a very formal way. I point at the girl behind me as I speak. She smiles and waves her hand in front of my, her chest. Yuri, you didn't come back for so long. You had me worried. It wasn't Yuri's fault. An accident came to get her. An a It was a... I mean... Oh my god. Alright, come on, who let the sex pixie in? Come on, hands up, who did it? We're not doing- come on, one of you, raise your hands! Was it- it was you, wasn't it? I knew it. Don't let it happen again. What's this supposed to symbolise, by the way? This little flick over there. Because I know when they have light, that means there's a light above them. Like some sort of, I don't know, weird, wet, drooping halo across their hair. But what's this supposed to mean? Do you have some sort of weird insect? It looks like she has some sort of weird insect, like clinging her hair open. And no wonder it's so still. So that's it. Yuri, you went to run and run yet again. A boyish girl, oh, fuck you. A boyish girl leaves her seat in the corner of her room and comes towards me. Her fashion sense seems a little free spirited for a grad student in a laboratory. It's not yet again. It's only the first time Yuri went this month. And that's a yet again. Is she referring to herself in the third person? The first week of the month isn't even over yet. Okay, cut the chatter, you two. Our visitor seems overwhelmed. Oh, you reckon? Oh no, I'm enjoying observing a typical day in this lab. Oh. Everyone has I speak the same syndrome. What is it with all these weird camera shots? Ah! Oh. I look around the lab again. It seems these three women are the only ones here right now. Let's start your introduction. This is Will. He's an exchange student from abroad. <laughs> if it's not Japan, it doesn't matter. It's abroad and you will like it. <laughs> uh, 
from abroad who's joining our lab this spring. There will probably be lots of things he doesn't know how to do in his daily life. Make sure you help him with that and of course in the lab as well. I thank them properly and do a low Japanese style <laughs> A weird thing to say in Japan. I did an Italian two kiss cheek. No, you didn't. You kissed their cheeks. Japanese style bow before introducing myself. The theme of my research is hydrothermal vent organisms known as dermophiles. In layman's terms, I study the mic. Yeah, bet that's really. Wait, what did that say? In hot springs, of course you do. What? What? No! That's quite neat. I can return back. Oh, that's a quite actually a neat feature. I can like scroll back and be like, I want to go here. Oh man, that's quite neat. <laughs> of course, that's not the only reason. I also spent time in Japan when I was a child as well. Hang on, hang on. Who said that? Did we say this? <laughs> that's the main reason. I st There's lots of hot springs here. Can you wait for all the wacky things to happen? Jazz hands. Ha! So that's why your Japanese is so good. Can you all stop mildly waving your heads from side to side? It's scaring me. At the very least, I don't have any major issues with communicating in Japanese. Before we get into all the Q&A, let me introduce my team members. Thanks. The one with the side ponytail and the water bear hair access- That's a water bear? It looks like an armadillo. Hair accessory is Yuri, an undergraduate student, yeah, and the other one in the interesting outfit is Ikoma, yay! A graduate student. It's a good thing that you had to explicitly say in front of her that she had an interesting outfit. What is she doing with her hands? What are you, a fucking bear? Oh my god. Question, Will! Are you majoring in thermophiles? You don't have to stick your fucking hand up. I get- what is your hand doing now? I guess you could say that I studied the difference between heat resistant proteins that thermophiles have and other proteins that are active at normal temperatures. So hang on a second. She's dressed like a schoolgirl, despite us being in university. And then we have sex pixie here. I don't think either of these would fly. I don't think that the teacher would not be able to wear that. Now, oh my, what a coincidence, Will. I use thermophile in many students of my studies too. Ye is majoring in astrobiology, and thermophiles are used as substitutes for undiscovered extraterrestrial. <laughs> sure. If you don't understand something, just ask me anything you want. Okay, I can't wait to ignore you. Thank you, teacher. I bow my head again in Japanese style. <laughs> you know, as opposed to the other one where they do it in the Suriname style. Hello again, Yuri's name is Yuri. You could just call her Yuri. I will. I must tell you something in advance, just so we're clear. Yuri is my cousin. However, never ever refer to me as Yuri's aunt. This is an exceedingly forbidden phrase. If you break this rule, your safety is no longer guaranteed. Are we clear? I get that was supposed to joke that was supposed to be a joke, but it was put in the most boring, wordy way ever. That was three lines setting up for that. Yes, ma'am. I nod meekly from what I've heard the word aunt is an extremely sensitive word in Japanese and best avoided in public. Why? Is that a real thing? I'd struggle to believe that's a real thing. I'd better watch out, especially in this lab where my boss and colleagues are all women. We both should tri- <laughs> That's the point! So when I was streaming with- when I was recording without a webcam, I forgot that- the amount of eye rolls I just did after like reading something like that. It's like they're all women, it's like... You guys couldn't see that, but now you can see me eye rolling. Uh, gotta be gentile, just like I always am with microorganisms. What a thing to say. Sure, yeah. Another thing, it might be hard to guess by looking, but... Ye is male. You can ask him about male facilities like lockers. That's a thing you're just going to say! About someone standing in front of you! You're not even gonna wait till they leave the fucking room! I know he may seem like a girl, but he's actually a boy! Like, oh my god. Excuse me, I didn't quite catch what you said. Could you repeat that? L like she said, I'm a male, biologically and mentally. I'm saying I'm a boy just like you. Calling someone an aunt isn't the only way you could offend someone. Ye is cuter than Yuri, he makes me jealous. 
Why are you referring to yourself in the third person? Am I missing something? <laughs> hey, this is where you're supposed to say, how could such a cutie be a boy? What's going on? What a party pooper. A boy just like me. I could not hit that spacebar hard enough. Cut it out, he's getting confused. Well, this isn't a surprise prank or something. I simply conveyed the facts to you so you understand my words at face value. It's the same as something going on in a test tube. So she's a girl, okay. Good, you've gone really close to me. <laughs> now that I've got a good look at him, Will is kind of a hottie. Oh, God. Isn't he? Hey! What do you think about me? Oh, you just said flirty look aloud, did you? What do you think about me, flirty look? So cute. I can't think of a suitable response, so I just kind of clap my hands to show her my approval. Good lord, studying abroad is just one surprise after another. I eye roll too much. Hey, what do you think of water bears? Oh, we've now gone outside. <laughs> oh my god. Teacher and yay. Why is it senpai? Why is she senpai? <laughs> Said they'll have a lot of work to do, so the undergraduate Yuri uses her free time to guide me as we leave the polar research lab. It's a good thing you had to repeat that fucking out loud as opposed to, I don't know, showing it when they were all together. Yuri's studying water bears and my big sis is coaching me. Water bears. While looking at her water bear accessory, I recall my knowledge of them. That's the small bug that can boast in vulnerability to extreme temperatures, lack of moisture, and even radiation, right? Yeah, of course it is. <laughs> Who doesn't have that knowledge about water bears knocking around freely? They're tough, but they're pretty cute too. Go and die. I remember seeing a photo of one taken with an electron microscope, but it was pretty grotesque compared to your hair accessory. Huh? But Ye said they're cute too. You're just like Big Sis. You don't understand a young girl's heart. Had the person who wrote this not understood how human interaction works? Uh, sorry. As I walk through the vast, vast campus with Yuri, we talk about the lab and Nagatsu Devet. The organisms that live in the polar regions are easy to observe, demonstrating that. That's the reasoning behind the foundation of Polar Research Lab. Okay, good. I look forward to that never coming up again. However, the founder of the Polar Research Lab was not Davette, but her predecessor. Her original speciality was artificial life, which is a bit different from what she's doing today. A bit? I heard Davette's a genius who can handle any task they throw at her. <laughs> That's because Big Sis is the coolest. Ye looks up to her too. Are you a real person? It doesn't seem like it. As we approach the school gate, I ask her about what happened this afternoon. There's this restaurant called Ra <laughs> No, by the way, what happened earlier? Called Run and Run and their combo meals are half price at lunchtime. Even for a restaurant aimed at poor students, that's pretty thoughtful. I'm honestly surprised. Thanks for telling me how I should feel. Plus, if you can finish eating the entire special mega lunch during lunchtime, they say you'll have good luck with finding work or become the queen of campus, so all the students are going to get a shot. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. I mean, the restaurant is. Oh yeah, congratulations for them saying th good luck finding work. Fuck it, yeah. Good luck finding work, everyone. I know you all, all of you owe me a dollar. All of you. I didn't even give you food. So, you know, we're taking that off the cost. Yuri was totally going to win today, but she was a tiny bit over the time limit without noticing, so we argued, and she said it's not her fault and ran out of the restaurant. Honestly, the more you talk, the more I'm losing track of this story, but I think I get the idea. Universities always have these kind of weird traditions, right? Oh yeah, Yuri's got to give you back the money from earlier. She meant to win today, so she left her wallet back in the lab. You are speaking to yourself about yourself in the third person. Why? Now, don't worry about it. On second thought, I'll take it as a symbol of our friendship or something. I accept the money from Yuri. Thanks. Will probably saved Yuri's life. 
saved her life, talk about an exaggeration, just a little bit. Big Sis is always telling Yuri, you always get pulled into trouble, so be more careful. By the way, I met David for the first time today, and man, she sure is beautiful. <laughs> Big Sis is single! <laughs> oh, fuck me. No, that's not what I'm implying. I was just thinking how everyone in the lab is so pretty. I think I'm gonna have a good time during my stay abroad. This place is totally different from my old lab. Well, what kind of place did you come from? Tell me. Oh, hmm, where should I start? The two of us chat happily as we leave the university. We don't get to know it. And so my first day at Polar Lab comes to an end. The Polar Research Lab, its origins designates that they study life forms. They take things to the limited extreme conditions as found in the polar regions. But I'll soon come to find out at this university, the Polar Research Lab is rumoured to be like the polar regions due to the fact it's very populated with... <laughs> oh my god, that sentence! I'll soon come to find out that at this university, the Polar Research Lab is rumoured to be like the other polar regions due to the fact that it's populated with very eccentric people. That was three lines to tell us that people there are a bit weird. Three lines! <sighs> oh. Oh god, the same music as well. <laughs> Please. Oh, this is going to be a fun playthrough, isn't it?